Welcome to today's mini concert. Hello. Yeah, I haven't been uh, playing a live stream concert for a while. So today will be a nice program, uh, particularly prepare for actually a live performance. So I will be introducing, hello, I'll be introducing um, each piece as I go, I guess. Um, yeah, so, um, and I will let you know also where you can um, find more of these performances you can enjoy. Um, yeah, so I was just doing a sound check early on, so I hope uh, that it's going to turn out good. Um, yeah, so now, um, if you know how this live streaming business goes, uh, probably uh, when the performance starts, I wouldn't be able to read comments along the way. But feel free to type in any comment, say hi or anything. Um, yeah, Instagram is not always the perfect, the best. Uh, yeah, Instagram is not always the best place to be playing live concert, partly because um, the uh, audio setup can be only so limited. But I will let you know where you can get better audio um, performance. Um, experiences yeah all right so it's set to go the first piece <laughs> my gear has to set up in a very strange way this time yeah set to go the first piece is a very very interesting um, piece by and uh, a Spanish Argentina no I should say Spanish composer or Portuguese composer, I better find out. Um, Esther Piazzolla. Now this piece is named um, Cafe 1960, but interestingly, it was actually written in 1986, rather recent of his works. Um, it was originally written for flute and guitar, uh, but every, everybody loved it so much, and uh, I'm just very happy that I can find the music and um, play it on the violin. So I hope you like it. Now, um, I will do a quick tuning. Let's get started. Let's find it. Thank you. 
was Tango Cafe 1960 by Esther Piazzolla. Really a great piece. Um, a lot of these special effects were added um, for violin because it was first written um, for flute and guitar. But nowadays there are so many different combination of the instruments because such this is such a um, sort of iconic um, new tango style. Um, as I read more about this piece and it was written quite recently, 1986, but I was wondering why 1960 was a title. Um, it was actually a set of four tangos that Piazzolla has written during the time when new tango from um, Brazil and Argentina also uh, was evolving um, and sort of matching the uh, bossa nova that was also a uh, very typical um, um, Latin music. So you hear a lot of um, the resemblance of both in this piece of music. It's just such a great piece and such a fun piece to play. Um, yeah, I was uh, looking everywhere to find um, the music once I have heard it and fell in love with it. In fact, 1930, Cafe 1930, uh, will be the next one that I will um, study because I also recently found the music for violin. Um, so really looking forward to that. Um, yeah, welcome everyone. And thank you so much for joining. Now, uh, if you're wondering where you can enjoy more of these exciting performances, um, please subscribe to my Patreon. Uh, as you can see, um, patreon.com slash Sharon Your Violin. You can find all of my um, performances that I have uh, released. Um, and also any upcoming new releases will be also posted there. So yeah, it's a subscription, monthly subscription service. So what happened is um, there are two categories, right? So one is for enjoyment. Um, you can have unlimited access to all the um, performances, including any live streams that uh, um, I post on there. Um, and another category is actually for all violin students. It's called Violin Studio with Sharon. Um, a lot of you are already very familiar with it. It's actually my violin program. But I just thought that um, during a time of um, you know, COVID and also I, I think um, also the time when so many um, good information available online, right? Um, so I have created the entire um, curriculum basically um, in video format. So if you have a violin around or you have played the violin before and you want to pick it up, but you're not sure if you want lessons, um, try subscribing. Uh, to my uh, Patreon because technically you have unlimited access to all those violin um, tutorial contents and um, yeah, you'll be able to try if you can pick up uh, the violin. A lot of the, the videos are on uh, basics, fundamentals and also it includes intermediate and advanced level material. Yes, yeah, so I hope you guys will enjoy that. Talking about new release. Hi, is that really from... Belize, welcome. Yeah, talking about new release. Um, so uh, my goal is to have one new release um, a month. So uh, July, this new work that I have um, recorded and also released on Patreon and um, some of you might have heard already. It's by a French composer, Saint Prouk. Um, concerto for one voice. Um, this work was also very recent. I think it was written 1940, no, sorry, 1964. I see the numbers in my head and I'll say it backward. I know that. Yeah, so 1964, um, this piece was first written for voice. So it was such a beautiful kind of vocalist style. Um, but again, because it was so beautiful, the flute has it. And I think the violin I've heard, the first time I learned about this piece was actually 
um, play by another violinist and she um, was doing a duet with a, a soprano boy singing vocalese, vocalizing it. Um, there was no, of course, at this point, there's no text, but I believe that was actually a poem written to it. Yeah, so um, very excited to introduce this piece to you guys. So again, well, this is a piece that I just learned um, as, I, as I found it. So I didn't really have the printed music. <laughs> so every time I play it, I have to read from the screen. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. So I hope you like it. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome piece. <laughs> Thank you. 
that was Saint Proof Concerto for One Voice. Doesn't that take you to another place? This um, music literally transform you. Awesome, awesome piece. Um, yes, this piece is also my new release. Um, honestly, a way better version of it. Um, has been released on my Patreon. <laughs> yeah, um, very nice video um, and also recording of that uh, that I am very happy with. Yeah, and also learn a whole lot along the way. Um, one of the reasons why I um, try to do all the work, including um, recording, mixing, editing, all that, um, mostly audio work is because um, is replicating as close to what I can envision um, uh, with a machine, right? <laughs> so uh, all these playback uh, while editing and mixing also actually helped me to improve my playing because um, it's just too honest <laughs> listening back to my own playing. Um, I think it's um, it, it really helps to uh, make a lot of um, improvements, I have to say, in um, style playing, a lot of the control, and also ensemble-wise. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy this, and you can check on my Patreon page. Uh, simply go into sim patreon.com slash Sharon Young Violin, or go to my Instagram profile, and you will see a link you click on it, you will find Patreon. Yeah, so now um, that aside, a uh, very exciting announcement for what will come this Saturday. There will be a very special concert performance. Um, it's a virtual concert, music concert festival. Virtual music festival, yes. <laughs> um, Seven of our friends will, including me, will be performing um, for this event on Zoom. And um, yeah, so you'll be able to enjoy um, very high quality, extremely high quality performances. Um, it's set at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time partly because some friends who are all the way on the other side of the world, uh, it will be their evening time. So yeah, do check out the link. Um, I will also be posting that. The link is already on my um, profile link. So if you click on that, um, it will bring you to this virtual <laughs> music festival uh, on July 17. And there's a promotional code, so make sure you do use the promotional code to get discount tickets. Um, support your artist um, if you can financially. Uh, this is a very, very um, un abnormal time for or performing artists, um, as you can tell. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, even though it has been a year, I don't think anyone can get used to performing um, live stream, not not with a uh, you know live audience. So your support is uh, very much appreciated. Now, um, yes, yeah, so I will be posting that uh, music festival date that will be for this Saturday. Uh, the next piece is one of my um, beloved piece. This piece is very sweet. Um, it's called Astraita by Mexican composer Manuel Ponce. So Astraita means um, my little star is a serenade. And this is a, a Yasha Haifetz transcription for violin and piano. Extremely loud. Sorry. Let's try this one more time.
Thank you very much. That was literally a piece that is meant to be sung by two singers. Yeah. But on the violin, of course, we can play multiple notes at the same time and be able to make it sounds like it's two voices. Really, really a lovely piece. So, um, come to the last piece of today's program and uh, this is a very popular on demand piece. Uh, absolutely is something that um, I would say it's um, play has been played by all instruments I can think of. Piano, violin, orchestra, accordion, <laughs> um, guitar. Um, of course, because it's Hungarian Dance Number no. 5 by Johannes Brahms. And this is, of course, one of the um, transcription that was done by his student, um, Joseph Jakim, who was also an outstanding um, violinist and composer himself. So here we have the composer working with the Hungarian violinist Joachim um, while writing the set of 21 Hungarian dances. And this is number five. And you probably will agree with me that this is one of his most famous um, Hungarian dances. Um, so I hope you like it. Let me just... Not this one. This is a totally different... <laughs> this is Gossack. <laughs> This is, um, that's a tambourine, that's something else. All right, so we have Hungarian okay. Sorry, we also need to start from the beginning.
Wow, I, I wish I could read uh, all your comments. I, I have to scroll back. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. Yeah, and thank you for all your lovely, lovely um, comments. And if you enjoy today's concert, and if you would like to continue to have these live uh, mini concert, um, I let me know in the comment section. Uh, today's live stream concert will actually be um, posted on my profile um, for 24 hours. Yeah, so um, tell your friends. You can uh, let them know. They can um, give me a following and enjoy the recorded um, um, version of today's concert and uh, definitely leave me a comment and let me know if you would love to have uh, these mini concerts going on yeah so I, I think it'll be a nice addition to the week um, I'm hoping to resume some of my uh, YouTube live stream as well so I will be posting if I will be performing live on YouTube as well because um, obviously all my gears can actually be um, used for my live streaming to help with the audio setup and all that stuff probably will have a better quality yeah so um, stay posted and thank you again so much for joining me and I will see you next time bye